there is such a small number of criminals within our military that are undermining good order and discipline, undermining command climate, and destroying lives. And those are the individuals we have to find. These cases must be prosecuted and they must be held accountable. Now our effort now is to bring to build a very strong bipartisan coalition that is going to end sexual assaults in the military. And the way we want to do it is create an independent, accountable military justice system that is not partisan, that is not ideological, that can create the kind of accountability and transparency that our men and women who serve in the military need so that they can receive justice. And when young adults make the commitment to serve their country in uniform and put themselves in harm's way to defend and protect America's freedoms, they deserve to know that their rights will be protected including access to justice and not have that access to justice intervened by somebody who, uh, for reasons unknown, uh, may uh, short circuit and not see that justice is delivered. There were a couple things we removed uh, that weren't sexual assault, weren't murder. These were disobeying orders and some other things. And we said, you know what, we'll still leave that in the line of command. We're going to keep serious crimes, murder, rape, sexual assault in here. And I think it's made the bill even stronger. And I always thought the motive was good for the bill, but I think the bill's even stronger. I see no reason why conservatives shouldn't support this. The only thing I think standing in the way is just sort of the status quo.